All right, so um, let's go. We're going to use PyCharm over there, right? So I'm sure by now you know how to use PyCharm. So you just you can just start your PyCharm and then um, I mean, you can just search for your PyCharm and then you can start it here. Yeah, I've already started it, so I'm not going to do that. But you can I mean, start it and then create a new project over there. Give it a name, right? So maybe um, sentiment, right? Give your project a name, like maybe sentiment. Uh, analyzer or something like that right uh, analyzer okay something like that and then you can just create it okay in the new window all right so once once you do that um, if you go and check the folder of, of this sentiment analyzer right if I search for um, mostly all your folders are gonna be in PyCharm projects okay PyCharm projects right they're gonna be in that folder. So sentiment analyzer should be somewhere here. Okay, it's this one. Okay, so if you see inside, you have um, the virtual environment and then the main, the main file. Okay, that's what you have, virtual environment and then the main file. All right, you need to create one more, um, one more folder over here, right? And then this one, you're going to name it as templates. Okay, that's what you're gonna use um, in order to be able to create the interface like this using HTML. All right, so that's that's basically what you need to do. Okay, and then inside here we're going to have um, index.html file, which we're going to create it here. Okay, so here you see, yeah, you see that we have the templates over there, right? And then um, you click on that template, you right click, and then you say new file, new HTML file. Okay, and then you're gonna call it index.html. Okay, all right, that's it. Right, or you can just ignore the .html because it's just automatically going to do that. You clear whatever that. Remember, when you create by default, it's going to have this. Just clean it. Okay, that's all you need to do. Now, um, let me show you what we have. The code I've already given. I mean, giving you this code at the resource session. You can download and then you can just copy them. Right. So in the, um, I have one more file here called sentiment.py. Okay, so. In your case, you can also create it. Okay, you can just do um, click on this sentiment analyzer, and then you do main um, Python file, and then you can call it sentiment, or you can just give it any name, right? Sentiment, right? Something like that. So here, I'm just giving you an overview of how the thing work. Okay, that's what I'm doing over here. So it's just a simple code, but first you need to install the libraries. So go to PyCharm, go to preferences. Right, and then you go to um, um, your PyCharm project, right? Go to the PyCharm project name. Make sure you see your project name over there. You go to Python interpreter, then you go to the plus sign. And then here, um, there are two libraries that you need to install, right? One is NLTK, okay? So once you see that one, you can just do install, and then it's just going to install it for you, all right? You can also install it. So that um, package NLT can install successfully. Okay, you can also install it using the terminal. Okay, if you go to your terminal here, you can just write um, pip install right NLTK. Okay, if you do that, that is also going to install it. Okay, you see that it's doing requirement already satisfied because I just installed it. Okay, the next um, library that you need to install is called, um, let me go and show you, it's called Flask. Okay, you need to install Flask. So let's go there again, and then you can just do it here, or you can go to PyCharm preferences, go to um, the plus sign, and then you can just install Flask. All right, that's it. Install, and you are done. Okay, once everything is done, you're good to go. Okay, you're good to follow along. So you can just um, follow the code that I'm using. I'm using over here, and then uh, you can just code alongside. So um, once you've installed NLTK, you import it, and then from NLTK, you import sentiment.vada. So this is what we're going to use. This vada is what we're going to use. Okay, from vada, we're going to import sentiment intensity analyzer. Okay, sentiment intensity analyzer. That's what we're going to use. And then here you give any test that you want, right? I've given a test here as I'm, I'm in a good mood today, right? You can give it any test that you want. That's the test that I'm going to use to demonstrate how this sentiment intensity analyzer works, okay? And then here you're going to download this Vada Lexicon, okay? Vada Lexicon. 
and then um, you initialize the sentiment intensity analyzer over here. Okay, here I've just shortened the name to just say it. Okay, that is um, sentiment analyzer. Okay, then once I do that, I do I do um, set dot polarity scores. Okay, and then whatever test that you have given, you pass it in, right? And then you put um, this square bracket and you put in compound. What compound is going to do is that it's going to calculate the sum of all the lexicon ratings, right? Which is going to take values from negative one to one. Okay, negative one to one. Where negative one means um, the sentiment in the test is negative, is negative, and then positive means that it is positive. Um, the sentiment is positive in the test. If it is zero, it means that it's neutral. Okay, so something, something like that. All right, so that's basically what you have. And then here I'm saying that if the score, that is the score that I'm going to get from here, if it is greater than zero, that is if it is positive, then it is positive sentiment. Okay. Then if it is equal to zero, then it's going to be neutral. And if it's less than zero, meaning that if it is negative one, right, then it's going to be negative. Then I'll print it out for you to see. Okay, so when I check it for, if I run this one here, I'm checking it for this sentence. I'm in a good mood. Okay, so I just run this one over here for you to see. Okay, so you see that the sentence is positive. Okay, something like that. All right, so you can change this sentence to whatever that you want. Okay, so maybe today is a very bad day let's let's see sentiment in this one and see how it's gonna be all right so let's uh, run it okay sentiment the sentence is negative okay something like that all right so maybe i should write the sentiment in the sentence right something like that the sentiment in the okay something like that so let me copy it um i think i should do this Right, the sentiment in the sentence. Something like this. The sentiment in the sentence. Come on, I missed out of the sentence. Okay. All right, so something like that. So let's let's um let's rerun it again. Okay, the sentiment in the sentence is negative. So, I mean, you can just write it. Or maybe today is a very lucky day. All right, let's change the bar to lucky day. And then uh, let's run it. Okay, the sentiment in the sentence is positive. All right, so that's basically, that's all you need to do, right? So, um, this sentiment intensity analyzer is a pre-trained model. Okay, so it's just like what we saw earlier on where we also train our own model and then we're predicting, uh, if I show you here, all right, so here we built our own sentiment analyzer over here where if you go all the way down, um, if you go all the way down here, let's see, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All the way, um, all the way down here. All right. So here we're also predicting um some sentences, and then we're predicting the sentiment in it, whether it's negative or positive. Right. We are predicting them respectively. So it's just the same thing that has been inbuilt. So you can use your model, right? So for instance, here we are using our model name is model um, RNN. So it's just the same thing like uh, over here. Okay. You can use your own model to also do that. And then do the do the prediction. Okay, here I'm using the pre-trained model, but I mean the concept is just the same thing. All right. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just copy um everything. All right. I'm just going to copy this one. Okay, everything that I have here, and then I'm putting it in this main. Okay, so you can see that is here. Okay, you can see that that's that's everything that we did, and it's that is there. Okay, so this mean is what is going to show over here. Okay, what this is what is going to show over here, All right? So here we need to import the NLTK, then the Flask. Um, we need to import Flask render template and then the sentiment intensity analyzer. Okay, so here this one I'm not going to use this for anything else. Here I was just using it to demonstrate how it is, how the concept behind this one and how it works. Right, so now I'm going to now use the Flask. So for deploying the Flask app, you only need these two files, okay, main.py um, and then index.html. 
all right and that's what we need so um for flask as you know already we need to open up right um created a flask initializer over here and then we need to route it to the home page okay where we need to render the html all right so the html right if you want to just see the html you can just see only the html that's how it looks like if there's nothing there that's how the code it looks like all right let me get rid of it okay so um over here that's that's basically what we we are doing so we render the html at the home page okay and then we are using the app dot root and then we are going to the post where we're going to add whatever that we are doing okay that is the sentiment analyzer all right so here we are doing the request dot form okay and then we are passing in a test okay request dot form is just this form that you're seeing over here okay and then uh, we are downloading the NLTK lexicon and then setting the initializer, okay? Just like we saw earlier on, set dot popularity score, compound, blah, 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 all of that, okay? Everything that we saw earlier on is what is here. And then finally, we're going to render the HTML as the, well, as, as we click, because if we click on this button over here, it has to give us a result, okay? And the result we wanted to, um, we want to still see the HTML, I mean, homepage. Okay. So that's why you're still going to render that. Otherwise you can, if you want to, to go to another page, you can create another HTML file, right? Which is going to be the result page. But in this case, I use the same as the, to accept the input and then the same page to, res, to give the output. Okay. That's, that's basically what I'm doing. And then uh, finally you need to close it, right? And then the port that is going to run port 8088 so that's basically what you're seeing over here port 8088 all right so um that's that's it for the it's just simple right for the main.py for the index.html file um i mean if you're not a software engineer or soft uh, you have a web developer you don't really need to uh, worry about um this html right ideally you're not the one going to create that one in your company there will be software engineers to create that for you all right, so, um, but I mean, this one is just a basic HTML file. Okay, the most basic one you can ever find. What you can change, let me show you some of the things that you can change here is the color that I'm using, right? That's why you see this blue, uh, green color over there. You can choose any color that you want. If you go to HTML um, color code, okay? Just search HTML um, color code, right? And then whatever color that you want, you can choose that color and go and put it over there. Okay. So for instance, um, let's see, maybe I want some color like what's, let's see, let's see. Um, you can just copy it once you get the color that you want. Okay. So if I want color like this, I can just copy this code and then I can come here and then instead of this code, I can paste this one there rather. Okay, so now if I rerun this one, let's go and rerun it. Okay, now see how it has changed. Okay, so I don't think this color is actually good. Let's change it to something like, um, let's try, let's try something like this and see. Let me copy it again and then come here. So instead of this, I'm just gonna get rid of that and paste this one there. All right, then I'll just come and then rerun it and see and see what else is there. Um, okay, so we have hash hash. That's why the color is not coming. All right, so let's rerun and see. Okay, so this is how it looks. All right, this is the color that we chose and this is how it is. So it was because of the double hash rather. All right, so um, this one is also looks good if you want, right? Otherwise, you can just change it to any other color that you want okay any other color that you want all right so let me delete this and see make sure the hash is just one all right and then i can come rerun okay you see that how it is so um that's how it is that's how it is that so i mean that's one thing that you can change um some of the things that you can change right you see that this colors over here this color code that i'm giving right they are the colors that you have for the test okay so for the test over here and the test over here so you need to i mean if you want to change that color of the test right you can change it okay so for instance um 
let's go and choose i think white color is actually what you need to use because if you choose any other color it's going to look weird over there All right so let me copy this one and then maybe um change the colors let me put this one right i've put all of them white so i'm just changing all of them from white to the new color that we want all right so now let's go and rerun it and see how it looks like you see how it is now it's red all right this one um this one over here is here the sentiment um color is here header right this is the header this is the header color so if i change it to something like this it's also going to change respectively right so let's rerun and see it to change from white to red okay something like that but i think the white is actually a good um one right so let's maintain it to be white okay i think one more is there let's do one more and then that's it okay i think white is good so um that's the html and that's the main right so it's, it's just a simple thing right so the other thing that you can change is um see that i have this one here sentiment analysis app and then another sentiment analysis app so if you come here you see that we have the, this one sentiment analysis app and then if you check the browser we have sentiment analysis app you can change them as well okay so this one the first one is for the browser one okay so maybe you want to change it to maybe um sentiment analyzer app instead okay or maybe just sentiment analyzer whatever that you want okay or maybe sent sentence sentiments uh prediction whatever that you want okay so i'm just gonna copy the same thing and put it over here okay so now this uh sentiment analysis app should change to sentiment analyzer app the same thing with this one okay so let's refresh and then see see that now we have sentiment analyzer app sentiment analyzer app so you can just change it this sentence that i have here as um type a sentence below to predict a sentiment is this one okay type a sentence below to predict a sentiment you can change it okay and then i have the submit button over there right so that one is this you can change it okay so instead of submit you can just maybe put predict right if you want something like that okay so if i come here if i refresh instead of submit you're gonna have predict okay i think i did not spell it well with t okay all right so you can just change it to whatever that you want all right you can just do it the way that you want all right so that's that's basically what you do right and then um you can just test it with different different i mean testing sees that this one is a low quality product the memory card fails this is a negative sentiment so if we put this sentiment into our app it's supposed to give us the statement is negative you see that's that it didn't change it's negative if we get a positive one let's see right basically this one is one of the best memory blah 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 so um let's do let's copy all of whatever that person has written and then put over there to check the sentiment over there you see that this is positive okay so it works very very fine and very good for us all right so that's that's basically how you do it you can also try to instead of the i mean using the pre trained model you can use your own model like say for instance what we did and then we got our model to be say model rnn you can use that one instead okay and then build the same thing all right okay so i hope you've enjoyed this one and um hope to see you in the next tutorial to do another exciting project as well okay so um don't forget to give the to give the course a good rating and also a good review and post your all your questions and queries at the q a session okay i'll be there to respond it all right so have a nice day and stay safe